Hello, citizens of the world. We are anonymous. Dear brothers and sisters, now is the time to open your eyes and expose the truth. A great lie has been spread all over the anonymous channel, Operation Syria. A tweet claiming false information on Assad has been spread like wildfire. The tweet said, Operation Syria video claims proof Assad unleashed chemical weapons. The Free Syrian Army FSA, put out a video with no evidence whatsoever that Assad used chemical weapons against his people. The video appears to be a fake, false flag hoax. According to a source, Israel pays Israelis $2,000 per month to spread propaganda. The FSA put out a video where they murdered two rabbits with chemical gas in less than minutes. The rabbit's hair wasn't falling out nor were any of the signs shown in the false propaganda video evident of the effects of the sarin nerve gas. In the video, only their faces were disfigured as though bad effects makeup had been applied and there was no fear, panic or pain visible from any of the victims. They had what looked like glue or latex on their faces. Sarin is considered a weapon of mass destruction. Sarin or GB is a colorless, odorless liquid used as a chemical weapon due to its extreme potency as a nerve agent. It has been classified as a deadly weapon of mass destruction by the United Nations according to Resolution 687. Production and stockpiling of sarin was outlawed by the Chemical Weapons Convention of 1993. Initial symptoms following exposure to sarin are a runny nose, tightness in the chest and constriction of the pupils. Soon after, the victim has difficulty breathing and experiences nausea and salivation. As the victim continues to lose control of bodily functions, the victim goes incontinence and begins to vomit, defecate and urinate. This phase is followed by uncontrollable twitching and jerking. Ultimately, the victim becomes comatose and suffocates in a series of convulsive spasms, and ultimately death. None of the victims in the video showed any of the signs of this horrific, silent and deadly biological weapon. There are plenty of YouTube videos showing what Saren can do to a living being, but for the sake of sensitive subjects they will not be shown in this anonymous message. My enemy is terrorism, the instability in Syria. This is our enemy. It's not about people. It's not about persons. Uh, the whole issue is not about me staying or leaving, it's about the country being safe or not. Mm -hmm. So this is the enemy that we've been fighting as Syrians. Mm -hmm. The president cannot do anything without institutions and without uh, support of the people. So the fight now is not the president's fight, it's Syrians' fight. Every Syrian is involved in defending his country now. But the problem between Syria and many countries, mm -hmm. whether in the Arab world or regional or in the West, that we keep saying no when we think that we have to say no. That's the problem. And some countries, they believe that they can control Syria through orders or through money or petrodollars, and this is impossible in Syria. Any information that the Western intelligence are uh, financing rebel fighters here in Syria? No, so far what we know that they are uh, offering the knowledge support of mm -hmm. the terrorists through Turkey, sometimes in Lebanon, uh, uh, mainly. Uh, but we have the, the other intelligence, not the Western, in the region, some of them are very active, more active than the Western, under the supervision of the Western intelligence. If you have army that committed crime against its people, this is devoid of logic because the Syrian army is made up of Syrian people. If you want to commit crime against your people, the army will divide, will disintegrate. Mm -hmm. So you cannot have strong army, unified army, while you're killing your people. Do you think a foreign invasion is imminent? I think uh, the price of this invasion, if it's happened, is going too big, more than the whole world can afford. Because if you have problem in Syria, and we are the last stronghold of secularism and stability in the region, and coexistence, uh, let's say, it will have a domino effect that affect the world from the Atlantic to the Pacific. Assad is not going to kill his people, stop being drawn into sensationalized propaganda. Do not let these evil people get away with these lies. Innocent civilians will die from your complacency. Now is the time to make a stand. Please do your own research. Stop the lies. Stop the wars. 
The Syrian people need its current government if it is to survive the oncoming massacre. Terrorists are nothing more than hired thugs or mercenaries created to destabilize the Syrian government. Anonymous must stand up for all those who fall victim to these Western powers and this United States terrorist program. May the screams and blood of your victims haunt you evil sadists endlessly, until the end of your days. We are Anonymous. We are Legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.